Well, welcome back, guys. Um, all I have with me today is this. A couple shiner hooks, a couple bobbers, and some stress uh, relief stuff that you put in the water coming up. I'm going to try to uh, rel relocate five bass into my ghillie pond that I've been stocking for the last couple years, and uh, hopefully I can get some fishing done in there next year. So uh, let's see how this goes. I'm going to try a new angle with the camera today. I'm going to finally try a head mount because uh, I figure I think I figured out why it was slipping off my head. I had the, that top fan a little too tight, so it was kept pulling it like this. So I'm going to try that today, and when, if that runs out, I'll put my chesty on. So let's get to it. See if we can get these bass. Okay, let's get this started. too hard for me to hold on to these things. Oh man. He took it. He literally took it. <laughs> That was definitely a bass. Bobber just shot under. I wonder if I got it too high. Take it down a couple inches. See if he wants seconds. He wants a real lively one. Oh, got him that time. Not huge, but nice one for the Put some of the stress stuff in there. Okay, the first one is in the bu in the bucket. Well, I'm close to it. Let's see. <laughs> see if anything reveals themselves over there. swimming away from something because the wind's blowing him that way so he's swimming that way probably avoiding turtle or bass or bluegill or something he's 
spots him and is interested in him. Most of the time they'll head right for cover if there's any around. That way they can hide in it. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he was. Pretty oh, still got he's still in there. Maybe maybe I can get him. Right where it went under. See if I can get him to come back. It's not like these shiners hook to be failing like this. Got him that time. This one's a little bit better. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? A little bit thicker too. Giggles, let's see what he is. Like, he's like 11 and 3 quarters. Let's see if we can do that three more times and we're out of here. Muck, muck, muck. Yeah, with an M, not an F. You see the way the bobber's moving around like that, guys? He's nervous. Now it's going back out that way. Now, before I changed him, the last one that I put right there, he got off the hook, but... Something disturbed the water when I was walking away. So it's either a turtle or a bass hiding under there. He just doesn't want to commit. He took him. Then I had to duck for my life. <laughs> All we can do is put another one back in his face. in that time. That's a little chunky sucker. Send a 
little sore. Little fat little puppy though. Let's see how big he is. He's 12. He's good to go. Whoa. Okay, see if I can get two more and I'm out of here. Hopefully. I wish I could do it quick. See what this big guy can get me. He's huge. Well, guys, I ran out of shiners. And I only managed to land three fish to put in the ghillie pond. But that's all good. I'll be back. Right now I'm uh, probably see how I'm sweating. It's like it's already like 97 degrees or something like that plus humidity here in, here in Maryland. <clears throat> and I have my water in the truck so it wasn't a good thing to leave it in there but at least it's close. The truck's right there. So now I'm going to Head my way over to Gilly Pond and put these three in there. I do have a backup go uh, one of them. It's called a Geek Cam. I know that's got a full charge on it, but I didn't feel like coming up there. I wanted to do it um, the underwater releases at the, the Gilly Pond. So hopefully I can get that done without getting all wet and all. I don't have my waders or anything with me. And the reason I couldn't get any other footage of anything is because of my. Uh, I don't know if you, if I'll probably cut it out or I may not. Earlier I said that I would uh, put my chest cam on if my head mount ran out. Well, it ran out. And uh, I hooked up my chesty and put the little power bank on my waist, looking for the wire and I forgot to pack my wire to keep it charged because I don't keep a battery in it because it overheats. So I just run it on the, uh, the uh, external power bank so that's why there's no other footage of me missing or anything but you didn't miss anything anyway um yeah i guess i'll see you at gilly pond um stay tuned thanks for watching all right guys i made it to gilly pond see how the level is all the way down but it's still, as it look, I, I don't know if you can see that, but all them bluegills are right there that I put in here. They're spawning. Look at them all. That's a good sign. See them all? Now, I only put 320 some in here total. And after the last couple years of them spawning, this is a very good thing. Give these uh, bass something to eat. All right, guys, it got worse. Somehow one of those bass turned itself into Houdini and disappeared. You saw me put three in that bucket on camera. And I know they were splashing around a lot. And the first one that I caught actually jumped out of the bucket before I put the lid on, but I got him back in. Well, he did it again somehow because when I went to put him down in there, there's only two. Two of the bigger ones. Two of the 12 inch ones. And the other part is, I think my damn underwater thing was on picture mode instead of, you know, film um, action. Today is just not my day. But at least I did get two more in there. Hopefully uh, one of those was a female so we can start that getting populated. If not, we'll get lucky when we do it again. So uh, stay tuned for that. Maybe I can get my crap together and don't forget things like my charger and stuff. Just ain't, uh, and when it just ain't your day, it just ain't your day. You guys have a good one and you be safe out there, guys. Down here on the left, hit that little logo of mine if you want to subscribe. And it'll be all good no matter what. So, uh, you guys have a good uh, rest of your days, and I'm gonna keep jamming out to some Mario Speedwagon. And you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. You be safe out there. 
and as for this pole, remember I told you earlier and think, if you watch my videos, you saw that in two of my kayak videos, I think it was. This is the rod that I found at my dad's house when he passed away. This is the light action storm um, rod and reel combo that I have that I got from his house. And uh, I painted it white. I just, it came out pretty good. I put paint tape around the eyelets and, and the guides and gave it a couple coats and then I put some polyurethane over top of that. It looks like it held up pretty good today. I mean, it's got some uh, shiner scales, well, a couple spots of them, but that'll wipe off. But I'm not really worried about it. Um, came out pretty good so far. So um, yeah, if you made it this far, just thanks for watching guys. Um, I don't know what to say. It just wasn't my day. Sometimes it just don't go your way. You guys have a good one. Be safe out there. Down here on the left. If you're, if I'm pointing at the right part, hit my logo. You should be able to subscribe. And hopefully I can get some better videos out without stuff going too wrong.